Okay, it's time to transition into the climb as we're talking about chipping away and <laughs> ascension. Um, at what point did you decide to chronicle your journey and then we'll dive more into the chapters? Sure, uh, it was always my intention to write a book at some point in time if, in my career. It wasn't even a matter of, if it was a matter of when. Right. And, and finding the to time, find the time in your yeah, busy That's schedule. exactly right, it was <laughs> trying to find the time to do it. Because if, if I were gonna write a book, I wanted to be vulnerable, I wanted to be truthful, I wanted it to be... It's um, very transparent too. Transparent, all and of, all of so that, I, yes. I call what I've written, I, I've thrown myself under the bus, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, I really wanted to um, unveil the, the, the truth about my life and um, create a narrative that gave you the full story and not the sanitized version of it. I've had a wonderful career, uh, which I love every single aspect of it, but it wasn't easy. And um, so I really wanted to give the reader a playbook of sorts that would provide them with tools and techniques and um, insights into um, my world uh, in terms of the organizations where I've worked and the industries where I've worked and how I was received as a woman and as a woman of color. So the book was written not just for women. Mm. Um, the book was written for all individuals, women and men who are allies for women. Ah. Yes. So you get a sense of the lived experience of what a woman deals with in the workplace. Because it's helpful, especially if you're a male employer, to understand the plight of a woman in her role in corporate America and her tribulations or trials or experiences. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's through the lens, through the Michelle lens, but um, certainly written for everyone. That's right. That's right. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. And so going back to your original question okay. around climb, I, the, the most frequent question that I'm asked is why climb? Why did you decide to um, name the book climb? And I said, you know, when you think about that term, it means to go upward with gradual or continual progress. And when I think about that, that's how I would describe my career. There are some of us who have an easy go of it and who can take the elevator up to the C-suite or whatever level that they're going to or that they aspire to, and others not so much. You have to take the stairs mm. with a backpack and no air conditioning. Oh, I love that and analogy. And so I wanted to, I, I climbed the stairs. And so the, the term really s spoke volumes about my career trajectory. And I used myself as the protagonist, as the subject, um, to make salient points about my career, some things I've done well, and some things I didn't do so well. And when I think of climb, and as I was reading the book, I was visualizing really as we relate it to like a marathon, it's your career is really not, what is it, not a sprint, it's a marathon. That's right. Doesn't happen, success doesn't happen overnight. That's right. We know Beyonce wasn't made in a day. <laughs> she is still climbing and, right. you know, is climbing. But I visual, I visualized it in that, compa in that perspective mm -hmm. that no one can hit that C-suite without a little struggle, without some challenges. Exactly, and without evolution. Yeah, and, and the, some discovery, self-discovery as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, one of the things that I pride myself on is I try to um, self-assess on a regular basis. So at the top of every year, there are several questions that I will ask myself just to do a, a, a sanity check. Um, you know, am I where I'm supposed to be in this life? Am I doing work and serving others? Why do I do what I do on a normal base, on a day-to-day -day basis? Am I fulfilled uh, at what I'm doing? What behaviors and characteristics and other things um, am I exerting in order to have the impact that I want to have? And so that self-assessment that you talked about earlier, I take that so seriously. Um, and sometimes you just have to reinvent yourself over time. So the Michelle 3.0 that you see sitting in front of you is not the Michelle of 25 plus years ago. It's, there's been an evolution. And the experiences that I've endured over time have shaped me into the executive that I am today. 
And so that journey line, as I call it, um, I'm grateful for every single bump, at, uh, ebb and flow, every nook and cranny of what's <laughs> taken place.